All right, everybody. So, quick tutorial on how to diagnose if you have a bad uh, gimbal bellow or the uh, exhaust bellow. Uh, in reality, you shouldn't have, you know, a bad exhaust bellow. The purpose of the exhaust bellow is more or less to keep the exhaust below the water line so it mixes um, as much as possible with the water. Basically making your ride as quiet and pleasant as possible. So um, really the only gotcha with, with the exhaust bellow is when you install a new one you'll actually see perforations that need to face downward so as water is uh, collected in here it'll actually just drain down right so this is not supposed to be uh, watertight by design so just so you're aware of that um, now let's jump up to the the gimbal uh, the gimbal uh, bellow up here you'll notice we have uh, residual adhesive for the uh, bellows that we've used this is uh, this is actually kind of quite different than the exhaust because the uh, gimbal uh, bellow is supposed to be watertight you don't want any kind of water uh, getting in here when the seal is in place um, take a look too at your uh, bellow in there make sure that you don't see any obvious cracks if you do uh, it's a good time to replace it and um, the other thing is you don't want any cracks you don't want to see any water in there if you got a lot of rust uh, mine's not really rust it's kind of more grease in my case I used a lot of extra grease in there. Um, if you see any water cracks, you, you're definitely going to be wanting to replace this. But I'm going to show you a quick trick because it's hard to see inside of these valleys, right? If you actually have any cracks or not. And if you have your out drive out like I do, you really, really want to replace these bellows. Um, if you're if you're this far along, you really should. So. I know you're thinking, oh man, you know, maybe not, maybe, you know, you'll you'll trash that gimbal bearing if there's water in here. So you don't you don't want to trash your gimbal bearing. Um, so the best way to not ruin the gimbal bearing is to make sure this bellow is watertight. So I'm gonna show you a quick trick real quick here. Let me uh, pan down. Okay, so here's what we got. We got a funnel, which is what we're going to use. We've got a little cup of water and some paper towels. Um, we're just going to pour a little bit of water and what your, your goal is here, if you look, you actually have about, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, roughly six valleys in there. And you want to put enough water into those valleys where you can see, right, do I have a leak? And that's going to be the easiest way to diagnose these bellows if there's any cracks or not. All right, check it out. I got water in there, right? Uh, you can watch it, you know, for a little bit and just see if, if they drain out. It's not, you know, a perfect test because, you know, the um, bellow will flex and, and not have a hole in one position and then uh, be compressed kind of like it is in the resting position now and actually uh, kind of essentially be, uh, you know, watertight. So, but this is a good, this is a really good um, test, just overview, you know, if you want to, see if you have any leaks or not. Um, when you're done with this test, by the way, make sure you take all that water out. You cannot have any water in there. Even just that a little bit of water in the sealed surface will cause that gimbal bearing back there to rust. Uh, we're gonna go over some more videos here um, in the next week or so, just so you, you understand what the difference is here. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, that's your quick down and dirty diagnostic of how to test if you're uh, your your gimbal bellow is uh, any good and uh, your exhaust bellow so i hope this was good and uh, remember don't forget take that water out okay have a good one